So some of you guys are probably asking, uh, based off the title, am I quitting YouTube? Uh, answer is no, I'm not quitting YouTube. However, is this going to be the last video I'm going to do for a while? Most likely, yes. Uh, so there's two things I want to actually talk to you guys about. One is exactly what's been going on with my YouTube channel. I want to share some personal things, personal opinions and feedback and kind of just get an idea as to what you guys might think. And the second is why I'm actually leaving for a while. And I think by now you guys have probably guessed and you're probably right as to why I am leaving. I can't hide anymore. There's no more running. There's no more, you know, being scared of somebody who most likely has no reason to be scared of. I mean, you can kind of say I'm giving up, but I'm not. I mean, I'm going to try and put up a fucking fight, but most likely it might not end well. However, before I get back into this, uh, let me share with you guys exactly my YouTube channel and exactly one of the things that I have been kind of struggling with. Or my biggest struggle is finding the type of content that I want to do and still kind of feel like I'm being original at doing. Um, and one of the things I have done is I kind of put myself into this mess is two years ago, maybe a little bit over a year ago, I made a video at SAC Anime that featured this panel. It featured a panel with the Five Nights at Freddy's cast. And this video blew up. Like, I'm telling you, blew up like I could not imagine. It got well over 86,000 views, 2,600 likes. And obviously, you scroll down, and you see all these fucking comments, man. 679 comments. Now, first off, I want to thank every single one of them who have watched this video. You guys really, really liked it. Now, where my problem comes into play. I don't do Five Nights at Freddy's videos. I, you know, I'll occasionally do videos going to conventions and panels, but I don't do Five Nights at Freddy's videos. So, when I post this video, all the attention and all the traffic only went to this one video. But watch time has kind of declined. I'm a little bit happy by that. But take a look at the search terms and take a look at the traffic sources of everybody who comes to my channel. The only thing that people seem to be coming to my channel for is Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, you know, there might be a couple others that might not be that, but my point is, I've attracted an audience for something that I don't think I can sustain. I don't do Fight Nights at Freddy's videos normally, so when I post this video, everybody subscribes to my channel thinking that I'm going to post more Fight Nights at Freddy's panels and more things regarding Fight Nights at Freddy's. Maybe that's not the case, but it's frustrating when you want to break out and do other stuff. Now, it's my fault, kind of, because I don't have a huge upload schedule as it is. I don't have a huge consistency. It's just, it's just what it is. You know, and, you know, younger audiences tend to subscribe to many different channels and all this. But the other thing, too, that I, I deal with in terms of the more creative side is exactly how I want to do it. How the type of content I want to make and how I want to make it. With the exception of this video right here, I generally don't enjoy talking in front of a camera much and have it just be that like when when you go on youtube you see everybody pretty much doing pretty close to the same thing especially in the video game space you know you have so many people who are uploading content regarding nintendo switch and you know my entire feed gets bombarded with channels that are pretty much doing close to the exact same stuff 
So when I'm trying to look for stuff that's a little bit more unique, a little more different into what I want to do in terms of storytelling and narrative storytelling, it's tough. It's tough, especially if I want to mix gaming in that because I don't know how many people decide to do a narrative storytelling in video games. I'm sure there are some out there. I'm sure people are doing you know, micro-documentaries, and I've seen some micro-documentaries about video games. But about storytelling and about being a creative, and that that's why I'm kind of taking a break from YouTube. Now back on to this thing right here. I can't keep running. I can't hide anymore. I mean, if I continue to run and hide and not face my fears and face the challenges that await me, you know, I might as well just let the director take over. And frankly, that's what I think I'm going to let him do. <laughs> He said, I gotta kill my darlings if I want to stay alive. He said, I gotta walk through fire to make it to the other side. Well, I got up to the top of the throne, and all I wanted was another soul to lean on. So I'm disarming, at least I can say I tried. Guess I could never check your boxes I didn't leave a mark Well I got down to the end of the road And all I wanted was another hand to hold But I bear your crosses So what's a broken heart? With the devil himself So go ahead and take it all I've lived through hell And a sleep of demons So what's a little man? Thank you. 